here's the question. Can he go up to Jose? Top eight at, or top 16 at SCR for KOF. And that was not an easy tournament. No, it was not an easy tournament. That is when you had all the guys. I mean, you would have had the same guys over here, but they're at some other tournament that we're not going to mention. Exactly, but back over there, 100% murder. 100%. Yeah, that over there. But you know what? This is where the real murder is. This is from the people who helped bring up KOF 13, yep. helped do it, me and you, one of the main people up in the ropes, showing the everyone how it's supposed to be played. And this is our testament to see how far we've come, because not yes. everybody here was great, but now a lot of people are. Exactly. We're going right into the match. We got El Gallo Negro on the left. Paul is to the wall on the right. They already checked their buttons. They're ready to go. They're ready to win. That's right. I don't want to see no input checks right now. I just want to see straight blood and guts. Pretty much. I mean, that, that's exactly what we're wanting. Um, I haven't actually seen... Uh, oh, Jose. Uh, right into it. That's there right. Jose coming through. Wow, we're getting a little mirror match here going on. Yeah, uh, they both play kill. Uh, Jose running is a... Uh, I haven't seen Jose play kill in a really long time. You know, I actually think that's really good because he's been messing around with the EX characters, but he's been playing so much arcade King of Fighters 13 that he's kind of lost uh, the older ways of how he's supposed to be playing the that's other characters. That's true, yeah. Um, most of the combos still work, obviously, but... Slight different, a little bit different move priority, but they're still really good. Right. Ho Jose's, uh, since he's been a little bit rusty with Kyo, it looks like he's not doing too much damage. And Paul is to the wall. It's Woo. just going in right now. Oh, you oh. have to EX that, buddy. Yeah, you have to EX that. We're almost here. Pretty close. Ooh, caught him. We almost missed uh, wow. 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 Jose squeaks it by, by with, with that one by the skin of his teeth. Hey, man, that's all you need. Hey, dude, game, it, it's those normals, man. Basically, your fundamentals, your KOF fundamentals is keeping yep. him alive. He actually doesn't have that much experience against Vice right now. So I'm oh, really Isaiah. interested to see where he goes. Because I know Isaiah is one of the local players out here that plays Vice. Actually, he's one of the only NorCal guys that does. Right. And, and uh, uh, he gives everybody problems because Vice is just that good of a character. Oh, yeah. One one standing jab and you're, you're pretty much done. Yeah, oh, you out of blocks here. are Ooh, down. Man, not leaking anything. Yeah, I, I really like how Jose, how Jose is actually not allowing Paul is still the wall to get out. He's, there it is. Yeah. But you know what? Jose's KO did, did the damage, damage. needed. Very, he kept very him well. in. The, I mean, all those little normal pokes and everything. That... That's, that's pretty much hey, Paul's... Hey, KOF, man, if you can get yeah. your second character down as that much as the first character, you pretty much won the match. Exactly. I mean, 300 health versus... Using a meter? A, yeah. I mean, Jose, El Gallo Negro is sitting on Ooh. 700 health. I don't know what he was doing there. Oh, that's going to cost him. Yeah. Oh, he got out of the corner. Uh-oh. Catches him. Another one. Uh, wow. Also, he's all with he's, that super cancel grab. Yeah, usually, uh, you know, I want to see El Gallo Negro... Do a little bit more crosses, but he opened them up with a short jump. That uh, that short jump C with Iori is for some reason the hardest move to block in the air because it almost looks like he pulled it off too late. Yeah, holding back is so hard, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, because like you know how some moves need jump in the air. Yeah. And it looks like it's gonna come out, but they land too early. That move comes out almost so low to the ground. Yeah. Now, Paul Sewell's playing your boy Terry. Oh man. Now, what do, what do what do you think more in this matchup that Terry needs to do because Iori. He just mauls. He mauls. He needs to knock him down. I think he, uh, Terry has a hard knockdown. He has a He needs to go for it. Definitely don't do that. Yeah. Uh, if you can get the, the overhead and he has crack shoot off, you can get like... Uh, Paul Yori has pretty much no OG game. Yeah. Uh, his uh, PG claw does not have good properties. Uh, and El Gallo takes it. Yeah. First game. But his problem there was he was not keeping uh, Claw Yori on the ground and pressuring him. Yeah. If you want to beat Claw Yori with Terry, you got to just abuse that EX crack shot. And, you know. You have to space it right. You have yeah, to space, space it right. right. The thing about it is it, it hits so far away mm -hmm. is that you could space it to the point where you're safe from anything that Claw Yori can do, but he can still get hit by your EX crack shot. Yeah. And then after that, you back up again, maybe throw a power wave, keep them guessing. You know what I like to do to you? I like to do the down C and then a yeah. D crack shoot. And if you jump. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's, really, it's really hard. You definitely do a lot. Like, uh, you will keep it going. Uh, keep that pressure going. Right. That's, that's another thing. Uh, Claw Yori has no defense. So that, I think in this match, his key to victory is definitely going to be up to keep up that offense against Claw Yori. Because he, he, he did not do good on defense against Claw Yori. Nobody does. Yeah. 
I like how Paul Paul is through the wall. He's keeping uh, El Gallo Negro in check with those DPs. Right. But he's uh, that was a bat. He already did it once, so Jose's already saw him do it once. So what, what, he's gonna block again. Hopefully right. he's gonna do it again. But right now he's just staying on the, uh, the defensive. You know he's hanging back. Oh, we missed the down C. That's death on whiff. Yes. Oh, nice down C from him. Wow, he, nice buffer. Him. Kept it in. Hit. Hit for. Yeah, man, freestyle the combo, man. If you got the hit, just go for the super. Yep. And uh, Paul to the wall actually not in a terrible position right now. No, no. His vice in the, pre in the first matchup did a lot of damage. Yep. And it took out the Claw Yori almost pretty much, you know. Yeah. Did almost Ooh, damage. that was an EX lead moment right there. Oh, there we go. Super. Yep. Yeah. I'm not really seeing uh, Paul anti-air and go into EX sleeve as much as I've seen other vices do. Right, most vices do that. There's two schools of vice. There's a vice where you look for the EX sleeve at any moment, and then there's a vice where you look for the EX charge and yeah. go for another charge, then the uh, command grab. Then oh, just grab. clocked him off the back. I respect that. Now, eventually he could have EX sleeved off of that, but he went too far away. Yeah, that, 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 that standard CD really right. will do it. Autumn, gonna one more. Two? Man, Jose learning combos on the down low. Wow. What the heck? Oh, my God. Jose. What are you doing? RIP! Wow! Choosing to use the two bars and his full drive meter. He's, he's giving you guys a show That's tonight. right, man. That's like, that was totally unnecessary, but he's like, whatever, man. It's NCR. You know what? I think he's sitting there. He's saying this that, basically, he's like, I already got... Oh, there, oh, there it is. The blow up. The blow up. Oh, he whiffed it. He didn't have the meter, he didn't buddy. Have the meter. He barely, uh. barely just missed it. All right. That uh, combo from Jose. Yeah, I know, man. Wow. Like, what? You That's know. illegal. <laughs> <laughs> That's like watching a Kim combo. Yeah, beat, dude. Beat his burning <laughs> meter and dry meter. Yeah. <laughs> the 10 second combos that, you, you know, in a sense, I actually, I, I, I like doing those every so often, right. even though it's not optimal. It's, what was that? Wow. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, it's very not. He couldn't have meant to do that. Oh, man. And uh, his Terry just has some ways to go. Uh, he, okay, nice, nice down card. Feet. Okay, oh, get him out of there. Now, now he needs to bring in the other Terry. Got, now, don't back, back up, man, no. don't back up. Especially if throw. Jose's jumping a lot, Terry has some pretty good anti-air normals. Right. That will beat a lot. Trust me on that one. Exactly. Well, you Not that, have... but just normal. Right, you know what, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's actually pretty risky to do the rising tackle. In the corner. Yeah, especially in the corner. Right. If Jose knows what to do, you got to jump. Uh, up, you need a normal jump on them in the corner. Right. It's not the best uh, idea to short jump them in the corner. Right now it's a Terry Mirror. Let's we'll see how Jose handles that. I know yeah. his only Terry Mirror uh, game knowledge is against me. Yeah. Well, uh, Jose went for the HC. You no, know he's sitting on full lock and loaded full, meter. Uh, full so count, you know man. one hit, he's gonna make it count no matter what. Man, he keeps over jumping at a cross up though. Yeah. Ah, the jump D C D does not work that good for Terry. Oh, that was a counter. We could have. It's a good air to go. Oh! Oh, he, he's working the guard gates there. It's a bad position for Paul. All right. Oh, man. Make it count. He that keeps missing the C. That could have. If he hit confirm HD that. Oh! In there. Jose wow. takes it with the trade. Nightmares about that. That's how I lost to him back at the last round back. Oh. <laughs> so, El Cayo Negro goes on. And Paul's to the wall, goes down. Yep, Mr. The no Mom is a match, The next match, who do we got? I believe. Uh, is I, believe LPN, uh, I believe it might be LPN and Combo Fiend. Woo -hoo. Now, these are two guys who are actually new to the KOF scene, but uh, they're well, not new to uh, the FGC well, at all. Combo Fiend has played previous SNK games, just not. Not seriously, or serious not like. KOF uh, or right. anything like that. Well, they're new to he the was a CBS2 KOF monster. Scene. And so he knows he knows a lot about that. Both killers right now in every game. Yeah. Every game these guys play, they know what to abuse and what to do. LPN, he LPN actually hasn't been training with much many people around here. I played him in a couple games here and there, but he's just playing a lot of South Bay cats here up in NorCal. But Combo Fiend, on the other hand, playing has been Soul training cats. with the Team Chaos guys, some of the Dream Cancel guys, and they have been cracking out. I mean, if you guys saw, That's scary, dude. Yeah, <laughs> if you guys saw uh, Combo Fiend at final round, I mean, he, I, I, I'm definitely hoping that he steps up his game because he dropped some crucial, crucial combos. Right, but even then he was looking eight, super but he was solid. Looking super solid. 
You know what? I bet he took notes from Felix's. Uh, I was, I was telling Ralph. somebody that earlier. I was <laughs> telling somebody that earlier. The only American tech for Ralph is from Pixel. Pretty much, and that's the only thing that's out there because yeah. usually if people choose to play, uh, like if they're thinking about Ralph, they go with his brother, Clark. Right. And Clark's we obviously a stronger character. Right. But Pixel abuses so many safe strings, everything else with Ralph that. You, he makes you afraid to walk forward or press a button. Exactly that, and then when he does do something unsafe, you're so, you know, you're so head traumatized that you're just like, I don't want to try and punish it because he could just do that freaking, you know, his back fist. The Gatling fun the punch. Gat yeah. The Gatling punch, man. It's just like, oh man. And uh, I believe they they the are Bowflex. working. They are working to get something going here. We are getting, ooh, I like this. I believe it is TC Yoshi. No. Is that Chris KOF or Yoshi? I think that's Chris KOF. I kind of recognize him because I played him at SCI. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but either way, we got XSK Samurai, another monster in games across the board. This guy knows Street Fighter Four. Mar I I was so surprised when he came out with Marvel that his storm and Marvel was like, what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of his Marvel videos. I'm very impressed. I haven't seen him play KOF yet, though. I've actually seen uh, him play a little bit. Yep. Uh, he trains with a couple other people. He's out. He's part of the Fresno crew. Okay. Okay. TC I just beast. got an update. It is TC the Beast. That's a. Uh, I think he was at SCR. Oh no! All of Team Chaos was, at, Team SCR. Chaos was at SCR. But this guy, all of Team Chaos, is solid. Solid. I'm actually so glad they made it up here. Oh, me too, man. Like, uh, if we couldn't have like you know Reynold, CMD Duck. You know, those guys, it's, yep. it's just as good to have Team Chaos, man. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, it, it definitely is. So, Mikey, I believe they already, they already double-checked their button, so they're going in there. Uh, I believe, hits the light. Hold on. Hold the mic. Uh, they are, are they in the wrong? It should have it. Hold on. I'm going to go What's help up? them. Okay. Keep going. Seem to be having some issues with uh, their stick, I suppose. Oh no! Somebody got a message. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm getting right now that they uh, might be under the wrong profile, so we'll have that fixed up right away. Um, Man, this match is going to be crazy. <laughs> I'm at the fight like some more Team Chaos guys in my pool later on. It's going to be ridiculous. I've actually never, I've only played one Team Chaos guy. That would be uh, KOF Chris, I believe. And uh, at SCR, he mopped me up pretty bad. Hopefully, I run into him again and uh, show him I'm not that free, at least. And there you have a lovely shot of our handsome uh, NCR crowd, the best looking people in the FGC. Look at that front row. Mwah. Okay, uh, slight technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the, the PS3 we were using was for Marvel, and it currently uh, does not hold any DLC characters for KOF 13. Uh, so we are going to be switching those out. Only should take a couple of minutes. You know, sit tight, go get some water, talk to your loved ones. Don't leave the stream, obviously. Tell them to watch. I think they'll enjoy it. I think everybody likes KOF at this point, right? How's everybody doing out there? Everybody doing good?